Is it possible to stop a heart with just a single punch? Let's talk about it. So today's topic is tied to last week's accident in which Buffalo Bills football player DeMar Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest on the field after what seemingly looked like uh, taking an impact to the chest. Now, of course, there's a lot of questions in play. Was it the helmet impact to his chest that did it? Was there an underlying condition? Uh, they have, you know, we don't really fully know yet, but it does beg the question of can an impact of a sudden force stop a human heart and of course you know we're talking in terms of con um, contact sports that's naturally going to include the martial arts in which striking to the chest is a very very common occurrence during training and sparring and even in self-defense so the question is we wanted to explore is is it possible to stop someone's heart by punching them hard enough now, the short answer is yes, it actually is. But the reason why is interesting and worth taking a look at. And also we're gonna talk about why it's not necessarily the best thing to aim for for self-defense and why it's not a technique you should rely on. So basically it's an occurrence that's incredibly rare. It's called Commodio Cordis and it's um, mostly seen among adolescent males in sports, but it is extremely rare. But what exactly is happening? Commodio cordis involves direct impact over the precordium area of the chest, which is the chest wall directly over the heart. And it must be a blunt force trauma, not a glancing blow. And the person must be hit when their heart is in the T wave section of the B. And this is on the ascending part of the T wave phase. And we're talking a very, very specific 10 to 30 millisecond window in which the, the, has to, in which the strike has to occur. So we're talking about a very direct hit, a very strong hit over a very specific part of the chest at an incredibly specific part of the heartbeat if all those alignments match up then it is possible to stop the heart now if this does happen whether you're sparring or in sports if it does happen the person needs immediate cpr or defibrillation or medical attention right away because most cases of this happening most of the time is unfortunately fatal and it's also something we see a lot um when it does happen it occurs a lot in baseball because a lot of times you know baseball is about the perfect size about the size of a heart and a lot of times players are trained to try to stop the ball in motion by blocking it with their chest this can be incredibly dangerous because, of, again, while rare, if the ball strikes at just the right time, it could cause an issue. And there's lots of accounts online, if you, if you do quick research about this, a lot of uh, players talk about being struck in the chest and while they didn't go into arrest, they felt their heart skip or they felt they didn't feel well or they felt something wrong. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a full cardiac arrest to cause a problem, but it's important to be aware of this. Oh, and by the way, doctors say that the chest protector, such as like a baseball chest protector or a taekwondo chest protector, doesn't really do much to help because that impact is still traveling inside the heart. You're, you're actually interrupting the heart's rhythm. And it's mostly seen in adolescent males because uh, that's the demographic that plays sports and especially in youth sports, uh, young men, their chest walls have not fully formed yet, so they're a little bit more vulnerable to direct blunt impacts than a grown male in athletic shape would be. Now, like I said, it's incredibly rare, and we, you don't see it very often in the martial arts, but it does happen. It's happened at tournaments before in the past. Um, all it takes is just that well squared up punch. So while this is not anything to incite any sort of panic, this the, the whole point of today's video is just to kind of bring up an awareness. You know, obviously when we see this happen, it's a reminder that no matter how unlikely a scenario is, it can happen and it's always good to be prepared. And we do train, you know, people who watch this channel, we know we're all martial artists, we all do some form of training, and we do have an activity that involves striking the human body. And sometimes it's worth remembering that the human body can be fragile sometimes. No matter how strong we make it, there are vulnerabilities and accidents can happen. And there's a lot of impacts and points in the body that if struck the wrong way can cause some serious or catastrophic damage. And it's always good to have that in the back your mind train safely train strongly and properly but also have emergency measures at hand just in case it happens and it also asks the question is well if it's actually a real thing is it worth training the punch so if you're in a self-defense situation where you could try to do that to potentially save your life and the answer to that is no this is not really an effective method of self-defense you know it's not like a, a death blow or something that you should train for mainly because not that that you don't want to cause that harm you know if your life is in danger you're going to do what you have to do to save yourself but the reason this is not really good to train for is because it's way too unlikely to be unreliable and unless you know, unless you could pick up a person's heart rhythm, there's no way you're going to be able to time a shot intentionally to stop their heart on an impact. It's just way, way, way too rare. So it's, it's really not worth your time to 
practice the death punch because it's not there really isn't such a thing in this regard. So if you're looking for that fight ending strike, there's a lot more practical and, and efficient methods that you could take advantage of. Uh, for one, the solar plexus, you know, you strike someone in the solar plexus, the spot right about here, no matter how much someone builds up, there's always that little button on the center of the chest that, you know, goes far to uh, knock the wind out of someone. Also, you know, liver shots are highly effective. You know, temp temple and a jaw are, are effective knockout shots. So there's other measures you could train if you're trying to end the fight. Trying to learn a heart-stopping punch is not worth your time. I would just say focus, you know, just focus your strikes and learn how to do them properly. But this is something that is unfortunately a freak accident. It does happen, it can happen. And this brings up another question too about fight ending strikes is what about the judo chop or the karate chop? So you wanna check out this video right here. We talk about this. Does the karate chop actually work and knock people out? Check it out. Uh, Mr. Hamlin, we wish you a very, very speedy recovery. And to all my friends out there, train safely.